Today we're going to talk about how to create custom cities in Blender with over 60 professional 3D assets packed into a single add-on called City Builder 3D to make the process of building and adding those buildings to your scenes more efficient and less time consuming. Using the City Builder 3D add-on and its 3D database will allow you to add over 60 various 3D modeled and textures modeling assets to your 3D scene very quickly. To make the process of creating your city scenes easier and more organized, the developers created four uniquely themed kits, each packed into their own professional add-on. This way you will be able to easily navigate and use the assets based on the type of the city you want to work on. These four asset kits include Metropolitan, Derelict Future, Cyberpunk Clean Future, and Soviet which is the newest one on the list. And each kit includes small buildings, medium buildings, and large buildings as well. The Metropolitan kit includes 15 buildings that can be used to create clean modern city scenes. They range from small buildings that can help you create neighborhoods to very long buildings that can be great for very modern cities if you want to create aerial cinematic shots or even if you want to use them in the background. The Soviet asset kit has been recently added to the add-on. The least I can say about it is that it is fantastic. It contains a variety of different buildings from small to regular buildings to medium and large buildings that don't really look like what you would expect because I can see that the Soviet architecture is more creative than I thought. Overall, the buildings in this category have unclean textures to show the effect of time on these buildings, which is going to be great if you want to create post-apocalyptic scenes that resemble the time period of that area of the world. And even if you want to be creative and add those buildings in projects that fit the narrative or the story you are telling. The futuristic sci-fi asset kit includes buildings that don't resemble necessarily what we have in our time. I found the small buildings to be interesting and more creative, but the medium sized and the large ones also give futuristic and sci-fi vibe if you want to create scenes of that nature. This kit is kind of the opposite of the Soviet one, because it is futuristic and clean. But if you want to create futuristic cities in which the future is not as clean and bright, you can do that as well because if you have experience using Blender or other 3D packages, you can modify the structures of these buildings in addition to the textures in order to be able to integrate them perfectly in your projects. The fourth asset kit is the Derelict Future Kit. Like the other ones, it has 15 building assets and as the name suggests, this kit is good to create old and abandoned cities or even small towns if you want to use small buildings. The large buildings can be used to create futuristic cities that are old because the effect of time is clean while looking closely at the textures on these buildings. As we have seen, this add-on has many different types of buildings that can help you create different types of cities whether they are small or big because your creativity is the limit. What I found to be more interesting about this add-on is not only the high quality of buildings that are included to allow you to create realistic cities but also the value you are getting by using this add-on. As you have seen, each kit includes a set of buildings that have been chosen and designed carefully to be coherent with each other to help you create believable environments. If you are going to create these assets yourself, it is going to take you far longer in terms of time and it is going to cost you way more in terms of resources such as money and effort if you try to build these assets individually or get them from online through the asset markets. And the best part is, if you buy the add-on you will receive all the newest and future asset kits for free. For me personally, I believe that the value of this add-on is very well worth it, especially if your work includes creating large-scale environments, whether it be for commercials or VFX, or even if you want to add nice-looking cities in the background when rendering interior or exterior scenes for architectural visualization. If you want to give this add-on a shot, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.